Hey guys, it's Renee. For this nailer, we're going to be needing all the supplies. I'm going to be using this white on blackout, blew me away. And this, this three are from Sally Hansen. And then I'm going to be using this Maybelline. It's called Winner Takes It All. And then towards the end of the video, I'm just going to be applying my top coat. And this is the one that I always used. And I'm going to be using a thin brush as well. This one I bought from a local store that they sell a lot of nail art goodies and then I'm going to be using my stamping system in my previous video I explained where I got all those things from and how it works so I'm going to link that video below but basically you want to put your nail polish here and then with this one remove the excess and then with the stamper you're just going to take that polish and just place the image on your finger or nail. But I'm going to be explaining to you in more detail once we get started. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go and apply my base color. I'm not going to apply any base coat because, well, my base is just white. So this one just won't stain my nails. And the background color I chose, this one, white, is because it's going to make my design pop a bit more. Than. So I'm just going to give this a second. Okay, so I'm just going to start. I have everything here. My bottles are opened and everything. My napkin looks kind of gross because sometimes you get the image and sometimes you don't. And uh, I failed the last time, so let's see how it goes with this one. I'm just going to put my my blue here in the bottom, and then my black on the top. You have to act fast, guys. Remember that. Push as much as you can. If you can help it with both hands, better. And like that. Okay? So this is what you get. And then I'm just going to clean this up. You have to be cleaning like every time. Otherwise, if you don't clean as you go and you try to stamp again, it just won't work at all. I have tried that. For some reason, it doesn't work. I feel like my napkin is just too gross, but by now I'm just going to change it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of switch the order of my lines. As you can see, in the bottom here I have the blue one, and then on top I have the black one. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to place the black one on the bottom, and the blue one on the top, and here's going to be like this one, and here's going to be like this one. Blue on the top. bottom you no know, sometimes you just get nothing that's the bad thing about this something things that's a bit better than the last one and yeah as I mentioned in my last video the first one that I did using Kona. A lot of people don't like it and you can see why. They think that it's like a lot of waste. But sometimes it's just okay to have something different on your nails. Like I wouldn't use it every single time I want to you know, paint my nails because that's a lot of waste but every once in a while, I think once a month. Then as I said before, I'm gonna be switching here. Okay guys, for some reason it started working better, somewhat better once I wasn't recording, but basically what I did is this one, the same, but I'm switching the order of the colors I said before. My temp I painted like this because I didn't want to waste any product in this nail since it's my least favorite and I don't see the point of just, you know, doing that sign in there. And to clean that I'm going to be taking a Q-tip with some acetone on it or, just, you know, um, nail polish remover, whatever you use, and just you know, clean your edges. Some people use brushes as well, but... I'm going to take my colors, I'm going to take the blue first and my thin brush. Paint inside those lines. Taking a bit of paint or polish. You might need a thin brush for this. A lot of people is like super skilled with toothpicks and they can paint with a toothpick in these small spaces. For me it's easier to just to just use this kind of thin brushes. So I'm just going to go like that, painting every other line. Blue first. 
And once my first coat is dry, I'm just going in to add the second coat. Here is one coat, and here is two coats. Then I'm going to be taking my black nail polish, and I'm going to pretty much be doing the same thing, leaving one like line in between the previous color. If you want, you can use acrylic paint for these things because it's a lot easier than polish. And this will be again two coats. And then I'm going to be using my gold and I'm just going to take my brush again, the same brush that I did before. And I'm going to basically be painting in the middle in there of those lines that I did before. And again, the color will show like 10, 10 times better if you use a white background. And this is one of the reasons I didn't use or didn't go for a base coat because if you have like a base coat, well if you want to you can always go ahead and use it if you feel more protection. But then again you're going to have like the base coat, the base color and then this colors on top and then the top coat. I feel like it's a lot for, it's too heavy for the nail. But that's just me. That's that for this one. I'm going to just give it a second coat and then I'm going to paint this my index finger pretty much doing the same thing. And yeah, this is the final result. It reminds me a lot of one hotel in Vegas when I went. Excuse my thumb, I just want to share the design in there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you've liked it. Just be patient with those plates. They are so much fun, but they kind of like sometimes they are picky when they you're trying to just pick the design. Once you get the hang of it, they're really, really cute and you can come out with a lot, a lot, a lot of designs. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!